Here are three types of peptide products you can buy. I'm a cosmetic chemist that's been formulating skincare for over a decade now, and this is how we make sense of the peptide skincare landscape. The first group is the Budget Peptide Serum. This is the peptide entry product. Most of these are pretty affordable, low risk, and are blends of various peptides. Products like the Ordinary's Multi-Peptide plus HA Serum or COSRX 6 Peptide Skin Booster are great intros in this realm. Many of these tout a lot of different benefits, and the data is both sparse and kind of all over the place. But it's pretty affordable, so it can be worth a try. Consider using this as one of the first steps in your routine. Now the second group are usually active pairings, which are mainly retinoids with peptides. Products like Educate and Mess's new launch, yay! Freeze Frame pairs Bakuchiol with a peptide blend, and even our own double play retinol face and eye cream pairs retinol with haloxyl peptides. This is to tackle a spectrum of anti-aging concerns. We obviously like this approach because we believe peptides are a very good secondary active to heavy hitters like retinoids with minimal to no added irritation for tackling anti-aging concerns. Now finally, we'll call this the I don't know what it's supposed to do, but it should do something category. Usually these products have a really, really long ingredient ingredient list with not just peptides but everything else under the sun and the price point can start to get up there. These are going to be products like Proteini or even Estee Lauder's Advanced Night Repair. Best way to shop for this category is with clinical data. Read the data. You'll see some will help with skin texture and radiance while others are going to help with things like skin elasticity and hydration. The difference in clinical data here is going to help you choose between products. And yes, I'm also saying that if there's no clinical testing in this category and it comes with a high price tag, I'd probably just move on here. Now we go into peptides in further detail on our just released episode of the podcast, so give it a listen and happy peptide hunting.